Yo, what is going on guys? Clutch back again with another video. Now, before we get into it, I am going to be running some giveaways on the channel. If you do want to enter, all you've got to do is make sure you subscribe, like the video and drop a comment. Um, and if you do, then you'll obviously be entered. It'll be 12,000 FIFA points. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, now, before we do get into it, as well, like I said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, and today is going to be a 4-3-2-1 tactics video. Um... As you can see, again, I've been using this formation in the draft, into the draft final. Again, relatively comfortable wins. Apart from we did play one decent player. Uh, ignore the record, I did have a few DCs. So, but yeah, um, see, so yeah, four, three, two, one tactics. I am excited to give this to you guys. It is a very good formation. Something as well that I think just, I don't know. It's it's one of those that as the years have gone on, I feel like it's got better and better. And especially with the two centre forwards now as well, it makes it tight. It makes it a bit bit different in my opinion. Um, so I am very much looking forward to giving you guys this video. Uh, so yeah, so what we're going to do, we are going to just head straight over onto the tactics. Now I haven't done the tactics beforehand because uh, I'm just going to walk you guys through it as we do it. So the defensive style is on balanced. Uh, again, nothing too crazy with these. I would be tempted, and I think it might actually be worth doing it, is playing press after possession loss, really just to try and win the ball back. Um, but it is up to you guys. For me, I've just been using balance. It's something that I personally get along with very well. Uh, so balance for me. Uh, the width is on 45. It is something that on, especially FC24, I have been able to find my comfort zone with that. Um, it, that. It feels a bit narrower, so I don't leak through balls, but it doesn't feel too narrow to a point where I'm getting just, you know, just absolutely killed down the line by the wingers so for me it's a nice little middle area which you know just helps just helps like defend my box um and that's kind of all i really want to do with my defensive width um now my de my depth is on 60 oh there uh for me i'm trying to be as on top of people as possible so the depth being on 60 is just a big plus obviously you do have to be aware of the through balls but obviously you've got over the tops Obviously, on the floors, threaded through balls, precision ones, all of it. Uh, and there are a lot of ways to play these passes this year, so make sure you are careful of them. But if you are a confident enough defender, I would say 60 depth is definitely the way forward. Uh, Build-up play, again, is just on balanced. Um, for me, slow build-up just doesn't ever work. Long balls, if you're trying to counter-attack, which, to be honest, you could kind of could use long ball with this. But just for me, personally... I don't particularly enjoy it because I'm not a counter-attacking kind of player. I like to generally get the ball and just, yeah. Um, now, my chance creation is obviously on direct passing. Direct passing is the way it has always been the way with FIFA. Um, obviously, if you don't know, direct passing is obviously where, basically, uh, your strikers and attackers make a lot better in-behind through ball runs. So you can basically just pass people in behind all the time. And especially when you're using this 4-3-2-1 and you've got the two centre forwards and the strikers, you have a lot of players in narrow areas that can make those in-behind runs. For me, I personally really enjoy it and I think you guys will as well. Like I said, make sure you are using direct passing. Uh, the width is on 40 for attacking. Now that is because, like I said, I do just want those centre forwards tucked in and near each other as much as possible. I don't want there to be really any separation whatsoever. Um, so like I said, we have got 40 width. We will have obviously other options as well and I will get into that as we go through the video. Um, but yeah, well, 40 width for me. Uh, my players on the box is on six. Now that is because I do like to have some centre midf mid midfielders go a bit further forward. Um, it is kind of just where I'm at at the moment. Five is also good. It just depends how attacking you want to be, especially with those, those midfield runs. So that is really just up to you as an individual. But for me, six is the best. I like having some attacking air like runs, especially with this formation where you do only have three attacking players without the midfielders. So uh, it's definitely worth doing. Um, corners and free kicks it is just all personal preference for me I like to have two just so I don't get counter attacked but it is really just up to preference as I said before so we are going to get into it so like I said my central striker will be on stay central and get in behind that is because I do want them making those in behind runs really trying to attack at our opponents can have it on stay forward but I just find that they end up being too far away from your midfielders uh, there, there ends up being a big gap causes quite a lot of separation it could be quite hard to build up play Um Whereas if you just do stay central getting behind and no stay forward, they drop a little bit deeper to a point where, you know, you can link up with the midfielders. It just feels a lot more cohesive. Uh, so it's going to be getting behind um, for, what's it, the left centre forward. Uh, that is because, like I said, as much as I want them narrow, I don't want them on top of each other. 
Um, and I feel like if I have all three of them on Stay Central, then basically they will end up all being on top of each other. So I do have them just on getting behind. Again, it is up to you what you want to do with it. For me, I just have them on getting behind. And that is the same with my other centre forward as well. Uh, so they do just make slightly wider but in behind runs, but not like wide as in left mid, right mid areas, just wider alongside to the box, just so they're all not on top of each other. Um, now I do have my central midfielder on stay, but while attacking and cover centre. Now this player generally ends up being your more defensive midfielder, someone that basically helps to protect your back line, helps protect those two centre backs, and really just makes it as easy as possible for you to defend. Um... You could have not, not have him on stay back for me. It just doesn't make sense. I like to have a defender that is almost like that rock in between your centre backs. Really protects your back line. It is personal preference, obviously, but that is just what I prefer. Uh, now, I do have them on cover centre and get into the box or cross. For me, I don't feel like they need to mark the wider areas because I do have the full backs. And I just do want them to try and make some runs in the box, especially for the back post crosses, cutbacks, things like that. I do like to overload my opponents. So having those two centimeters just on getting to the box or cross helps that. And like I said, we are trying to be narrow and trying to attack people. So cover center also helps. Like I said, we don't need the mark in those wide areas. So that is all I've got those two wide center mids on. The center backs, we don't touch them at all. And then we do have both of the full backs on stay back and overlap. Now we do have them on stay back just because we do obviously need to defend these wider areas. Also, we do have both of them on overlap. So if we do have the ball and we're counter-attacking, we do have some wide options. We do have some out balls, so we don't basically get crammed in the middle and basically just get squeezed out of the ball and counter-attacked on. We do want to have those passing options. So that's why I've got them both on overlap, basically just so they're just available in the wider areas compared to just sitting back with my two centre-backs. Um, also, we don't do anything with our keeper either. We leave him as it is. Um... So yeah, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, we are running a giveaway of 12,000 FIFA points. So if you are interested, drop a like, subscribe, and comment on the video down below. The comment is the main one, so I know who you are. So make sure you do that. And yeah, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.